Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 38 of League One to Legend with Portsmouth. Today we travel to Oakwell to take on Barnsley as we are looking to secure promotion to the Premier League. We'll go through all the details of how that's going to happen in a short while. But don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let us take a look at the one result we've had since we've last been together. And that result was a comfortable 3-1 away win at Wickham. Neil Mopay, Christian Baumgardner and Callum Robinson with our goals. Oakley Canier with the goal for Wickham. On the same day, Aston Villa beat Luton Town by two goals to one. Adam Armstrong and Edison Cavani with the goals for Aston Villa. Kai Naismith with the reply for Luton. Incidentally, Fulham didn't play this weekend. And some early transfer news as well. Cole Palmer is staying with us next season. Obviously, it looks like we're going to be in the Premier League. He's on loan from Manchester City, which means he won't be able to play against his parent club. But I thought before the senior affiliate gets cut with Manchester City, we'd get what this one sorted. He's been a fantastic player for us this season, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in the Premier League. So here we are at the league table. Following the results for Aston Villa and ourselves over Luton and Wickham respectively, the gap is now 16 points with six games left to play, which means a win over Barnsley today and we will secure promotion to the Premier League regardless of what happens elsewhere. Aston Villa can only put the pressure on. That is all they can do today. Do not worry about Fulham's game in hand as well. The gap to them is 18 at the moment. Obviously, they will have 18 points left to play for. So we are going up regardless today. If we can beat Barnsley, of course, they still have their eye on a playoff place, although it is very much an outside chance for them. Fulham still looking at automatic promotion, as I mentioned. Even QPR are still in the hunt. And I wouldn't count out Stoke as well with a goal difference like that. They could play a significant part in the end of season picture. Nottingham Forest have got 68. Bournemouth have got 65. But obviously Forest do have a game in hand. That game in hand is Fulham. So they'll be looking to extend that gap. Middlesbrough are still involved as well. They're six points off the playoffs. Oxford are still involved as well, I would say. Seven points. As I said, Barnsley, outside chance. Everybody else, no chance at all of making the playoffs. Reading and West Brom complete the top half. Down at the bottom is looking hopeless for Sheffield Wednesday now. 27 points. They are 10 points from safety with six games left to play. Huddersfield and Peterborough are looking to claw their way out. We have helped them out massively by beating Wickham last time around. So the gap is two and one respectively to Wickham. Rotherham will still be looking over their shoulder on 38 so will Birmingham City on 42. So will West Ham on 43. They are not out of the woods yet. They're almost there, but not quite. Bristol City, Derby, Hull, Luton, Blackburn will all be playing championship football next season because I don't think they're going to get sucked into relegation trouble. So Barnsley in 10th place taking on us today. Aston Villa taking on Hull. So that's second against 15th. Derby against Fulham, 16th against 3rd. So it's all very much a much. We're all playing sides that are kind of in and around themselves. Barnsley still have something to slightly play for, but as I've mentioned already, their outside chance of a playoff place is very, very slim. Let's take a look at the two teams for this one. So here are the two starting lineups for this one, starting with Barnsley. They start with Walton in goal, Hilek, Sibuk, Harwood Bellis. Valera, O'Connor, Mpenza, Styles, Thomas, Sumos with Woodrow leading the line. We start with McCarthy in goal. Dix, Watmore, Byrne, Toffolo, Lawrence, Fultz, White, Palmer, Callum Robinson with Neil Mopay leading the line. So we are within touching distance of the Premier League. A win today would secure it. Failing that, defeats elsewhere will probably do the job as well today. But let's get it done ourselves. Let us go up to the Premier League and then we can have a party for the rest of the season. 
get it done nice and early. Then we can start planning for the Premier League. I've started planning already, obviously, with the signing of Cole Palmer for next season. I thought that was a very significant one to get done early. As the ball comes into the middle, McCarthy has his hands on the ball. Will Barnsley be out to spoil the party? I should imagine so. The other question I have is, will we pick up the trophy today or will we have to wait till the last day of the season? We'll find out at the end, obviously. Simmons plays it on to O'Connor, into Styles. Like the look of Styles. I might have a look at him in the summer. See if he can play in the Premier League. Woodrow playing the ball through for Simon, and he's hit the post. And it's gone wide. Alex McCarthy, no chance at all. Throw in O'Connor with it. We haven't really started so far today. No chances whatsoever from our perspective. Palmer plays it back into Dix. Here we go. Dix playing it on to Volts. Into White. White onto Lawrence. Good football. Mopay. Here we go. Going back to Volts. On to Palmer. Dix just keep the ball. Dix coming down the right-hand side. Up against Simos. Plays it back into Volts. Volts into Lawrence. Turn. Turns it round the corner. Looking for Callum Robinson. But it's straight towards the goalkeeper. Not sure why they've shown me that highlight. To be brutally honest. It started well. Thomas. Playing it into Mpanza. Not him. As he comes into the penalty area. Will he get a shot away? He will. McCarthy saves it. Get a shout onto the field. Encourage. Come on lads. We're almost there now. Toffolo with a throw. Throws it in towards Callum Robinson. Heads it back to Toffolo. Sends it towards the edge of the box. Will Volks is there. He's not going to unleash one. Styles has come too close to him. Still got the ball. Played into Dix. There we go. Send it into the penalty area. He comes up against O'Connor. Does get it across. Robinson with the header. Robinson over the bar. Let's move on to positive. Put Barnsley under a bit of pressure. Corner to Barnsley. O'Connor's going to take it. Plenty of bodies in the box. Can we get rid of it? Will we? At the far post, it headed over the bar by Sibbert. That's a good chance for him, to be fair. Howard Bells into Styles. Go back to his goalkeeper. Walton out short. Helek. That's it. Play about with it. Hopefully they will make a mistake. Toffolo does take the ball, but he gives it straight to Thomas. Up against Dan Byrne. Take the ball away from him. Looking for Simons. He's in behind Dix, but it is blocked by Jack Watmore. That is good defending. Nearly knocked him into the middle of next week, but never mind. And that is half time. Barnsley nil, Portsmouth nil. The party is very much on hold at the moment. Let's take a look at the scores from around the grounds. Anything happening elsewhere? Derby and Fulham is one each. Aston Villa are beating Hull City. So we're not quite over the line yet we do need a win ourselves to secure promotion today Let's throw that bottle far from please get out there sort it out hopefully that will g a few of them up just need one goal that's all we need today we've been scoring goals for fun lately right we're gonna have to look at the bench cole palmer is having a bit of a shocker today 6.3 that's in the toilet son marcus harness is gonna come on it worked last time came on scored a goal can he do the same today free kick toffolo's gonna take it Ball towards the far post. That's what he'll do. Headed away by Sibok. Picked up by Thomas. Two on two. Thomas trying to get away from Dix. And he has got away from him. Will he get a shot away? I think the angle's going to be against him. Because he's gone far wider than he needed to. But he does get the shot away. Hits the side netting. All right. Let's have a look at a substitution as well. Neil Mopay's not had a great game either. There are a few out there that haven't had a great afternoon so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Neil Mopay off. We're going to bring Callum O'Dowder on. And we're going to send Callum Robinson down the centre. Our player of the season so far, in my opinion at least, Callum Robinson. Into the last 20 minutes, O'Connor with a throw. Throws it into Izodi. Howard Bells into Styles. Plays it across into Mpanza. Looking over the top, Dix does get rid of it. Looking towards Callum Robinson. Headed down towards Marcus Harness from Sibbert. Thank you very much indeed. Comes down the right-hand side. Players flooding their way into the box. Will he find a cross into the centre? He'll find a shot across the front of goal, but it's knocked into the stands, into the upper tier by Harwood Bells. Harvey White with a corner. Swings it towards the far post. Headed away by Sibbert. Picked up by Tom Lawrence. Yep, he's there first. Plays it into Dix. Got to go up the right-hand side. He can't go across field. There's not enough space to do that. Right, we're going to make a change up top as well. Callum Robinson is looking pretty tired. Freddie Ladapo is going to come on, folks. Can he find the winning goal? Dan Byrne. Trying to chip it over the top. Looking for Robinson. He's got in behind. Callum Robinson tries to stab it beyond the goalkeeper. Walton with the catch. Valerio with the throw. Toffolo heads it forward. Looking for Lawrence. Takes it onto Ladapo. Turn, Freddy. Got plenty of time. Takes it into White. Onto Lawrence. There's not many bodies helping him out as Tom Lawrence comes down the field. Looks wide for Marcus Harness. Will he find a cross into the centre? It's behind from a corner off a dummet. Into the last 10 minutes. 
Can we secure promotion today? Harvey White with the ball to the far post, headed away at the far post and picked up by Idoza. Goes beyond Vaults, tries to make a tackle. That is a half-hearted attempt. Dix is coming across to try and block the shot and does block it behind for a corner to Barnsley as they will have a go at the opposite end. Valeria with the corner. Anybody going to get their head on it? Hopefully one of ours. Yet yeah, Will Vaults and Jack Watmore rows together. Lawrence picks it up. Trying to get away from his man. He has got away from the Marcus Harness. He's open if you can find him. There he is. Can he get a shot away? He can. Almost in the top corner. Just wide of the post. Walton with the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Dan Byrne is going to head that on. Heads it on towards Callum O'Dowder. Plays it inside to White. Looking for O'Dowder again. Coming down the left-hand side into the penalty area. Tries to play it across to Ladapo. He's had it cut out. Will he try again? No, it's gone behind for a corner. Pressure starting to crank up a little bit on that Barnsley goal, though. Lawrence with the corner. Anybody. Don't care who. Backside. As long as it's legal, put it in the net. Lawrence takes the corner. Swings it towards the centre. Dan Byrne is going to rise, but he hasn't. Helic has got there first. Styles will come away. Barnsley try and break down the field. Dix, you've got to go across towards him if he can. Here comes Styles. Will he make a tackle? He will. It's a good tackle as well. McCarthy with the goal kick into the last few minutes. Can we find this goal? They've been very stubborn, have Barnsley. They've been very good going forward as well, to be fair to them. White tries to find O'Dowder. Buffalo's gone on the overlap. Marcus Harness has tried to find the ball. Dan Byrne will field it. Sends it down the field, looking for Walls Freddy Ladapo. He's flicked it on for Marcus Harness. That's a great flick on. And it's in the bottom corner. Portsmouth 1, Barnsley 0. Finally. And that is the goal that is going to take us to the Premier League. Marcus Harness off the bench to score. Freddy Ladapo with a great flick on. Where's Paul Dummett gone? Don't care. 1 0, Pompey. Cool as you like from Marcus Harness take positive off down to balanced we have done what we needed to do we have left it very very late hang on a second ball coming into the center helix hits it over the bar that's fine i did the summarizing a bit too early again harvey white's down looks like he's holding his ankle dan burn is waiting to take the free kick we are in to the last 30 seconds get up harvey get on with the game son you're fine dan burn is going to take that free kick now play it short so we need to do keep the ball Toffolo finds Byrne. Harvey White is back on the field. Toffolo looks to find White. Looking over the top for Callum O'Dowder. He's in behind. Can he keep it alive? He can't. It's just run out of play. But that is going to be a lot. Barnsley will take this goal kick. The ball isn't even in flight. Portsmouth are on their way to the Premier League. And we're going to pick up the trophy today as well. Jack Watmore is going to be the man to lift it. The longest serving player still at the football club. It is only right he raises the championship title into the air. There it goes. One, two, three. We are going to the Premier League. I didn't think we'd pick up the trophy today. I thought we'd have to wait. But there we are. They were obviously that confident it was going to happen today. We had the trophy ready. Anyone going to do a cartwheel there? There is Alex McCarthy doing a cartwheel. Not sure he should be doing that at his age, but never mind. It wasn't a classic. It didn't need to be. Marcus Harness with the only goal of the game. Let's take a look at the league table. So we had help from all over the place today. Hull drew with Aston Villa. Derby beat Fulham. It wouldn't have mattered if Marcus Harness had scored. We were going up anyway. Obviously, we didn't know that at the time, but it has been confirmed we've clinched the title as well it's all done and dusted it's very much not done and dusted in the playoffs though so qpr have won at nottingham forest that is a big win for queen's park rangers that moves them into two points away from automatic promotion fulham still have that game in hand so that's going to be interesting for second spot between those three and i think it's probably going to be between those three now stoke are on 70 they lost at home to blackburn so everybody is falling over themselves at the moment nottingham forest lost to qpr as i've mentioned so bournemouth are very much back in the picture after their win over west brom middlesbrough they picked up another win 
So they are within three points of the playoffs now. Oxford lost at Reading. So Oxford's race has probably been run. As of Barnsley's, obviously, they lost against us. Reading have given themselves an outside chance, but realistically, it's only an outside chance. Down at the bottom, Sheffield Wednesday have lost at Bristol City. I think the writing is on the wall for Sheffield Wednesday. Huddersfield have lost against Middlesbrough, so they've not helped themselves. Peterborough are out of the bottom three. They've beaten Wickham by two goals to nil, so that moves them out of trouble. West Ham have lost at Rotherham, so they are still very much in the mire of West Ham because Rotherham have dragged them back into the fight. It's between the seven of them now for the three relegation places. We, of course, I don't care. We are going to the Premier League. And the board have set the budget for next season at £37 million. I think I can manage to do something with that. Let's take a look at what we're going to do next time around, though. So we're going old school next time around. What we will do is we will do a roundup of the five games we have left to play. Hull, Luton, Fulham, QPR and Oxford United. We'll do the end of season stuff as well and we will look forward to life in the Premier League. Because there is one more record I have my eyes on. The championship record for promotion is 106 points, set by Reading in 05-06. We're currently on 95. With 15 points still to play for, we could smash the record. And that would be very, very nice indeed, given that's nearly 20 years old, that record. It would be an amazing feat from the lads. As it turned out today, we did not need to do a thing. Everybody fluffed their lines around us. We meant Marcus Harney's goal didn't matter, but it did matter a great deal to him. He will be forever remembered as the man that sent Portsmouth back to the Premier League. So we will wrap up the season old school style next time around. We'll take a look at the goals as they've gone in and we'll wrap up the final table as well as the end of season awards as we look forward to life in the Premier League. Don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so, please click that subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget, I'm a member of the Passion for FM team. The link to the website and Discord server are down in the description. I am also promoting the charity Mind. If you or someone you know is suffering with their mental health through this global pandemic, there are links down in the description where hopefully you can find the support that you need. I will see you next time for the end of season stuff. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.